What's up everyone? Welcome to Program Your Remote. Today we're going to be looking at a Ford and Lincoln programming procedure. We're going to be doing it on a Lincoln MKX here, but it does work on several different models. So before we get into it, there's a couple things we need to go over. The first thing is that this procedure is for vehicles with a smart key and have push button start. If your vehicle uses a remote head key, I'll put an image on the screen, and you have the, the regular ignition where you actually have to put the key in and crank, then this procedure will not work. That's actually a completely separate one. If you need the procedure for the remote head key, you can find it on our website, programyourremote.com, and I'll put a link to that in the description box below. The second thing is that in order to be able to complete this procedure, you need two already working smart keys. You have to have two in order to be able to add a new one yourself. If you have less than two, unfortunately, there's no onboard way to add another one. I wish there was, I would love to give you those instructions, but it's just the way they designed it. So if you find yourself in that position, then you're gonna have to have somebody program it for you. And your options are pretty much gonna be an automotive locksmith or a dealership. I always refer people to automotive locksmiths because they're cheaper and generally easier to deal with. So I'll, if you don't know of one in your area, I'll put a link in the description box below to a website locate a locksmith.com that can help you find one near you. All right, so now that we got those things taken care of, let's jump into it. So now we wanna be in the vehicle with all the doors closed and the engine off. And we need to have our two already programmed smart keys anywhere in the vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and put them here in the cup holder. Now we wanna take our new unprogrammed smart key and we need to put it in the pocket in the center console. So we'll flip the lid up. And if you look in there, you'll see the pocket right there. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there like that. Now using the driver's door, we're going to hit the unlock button three times. One, two, three. Press and release the brake pedal one time. Now hit the lock button three times. One, two, three. Press and release the brake pedal again. Now you'll see here, the engine, the stop start button is blinking. It can be a little hard to see, but that's gonna tell you that the vehicle is now in programming mode. So we're gonna press that one time to program the key. Now we'll remove our smart key from the pocket. Press the lock or unlock button. That's gonna exit programming mode. Let's open the door and see if it works. I'm gonna set these outside. I'm gonna set these outside just to make sure. Otherwise it'll read them. Just to make sure this new one will start the car. Perfect, that's a working remote. Thanks for watching everyone.